Do you start your holiday baking yet? If not, you might want to wait until you see the recipes our first guests are sharing today. They are winners of a cookie table contest at Rivers Casino. Welcome Shannon Redmond for Rivers along with three of 12 winners here with their cookies. Joelle Klein with a swirled sugar and spice cookie. Bernadette Dixon has a chocolate almond biscotti and Diane Penapinto with a painted holly cookie. Now we could also introduce the winners as Miss September, Miss October. October and Miss November as all of the 12 winners are featured in River Casino's new cookie table calendar. Ladies, welcome. The cookies Thank look you. yummy and Thank I intend you. to taste them, but Shannon, we'll start with you. Tell me, you had a lot of people interested in participating in this contest. We did. We had over 200 entrants. Um, and it was really a way to honor that Pittsburgh tradition of yes. the cookie table at weddings. And it's about much more than a cookie, it's about tradition. And we got a lot of that from the stories when people submitted their recipes. It wasn't just about making a certain type of cookie, it was about it being passed down from grandmother to grandmother. And so it was a contest that we started. Um, we had entrants, it was very, very hard to choose. I was gonna say, how could you do oh, that? It, did you taste a lot of cookies? Yes, we actually got a lot of help. Okay. We actually had a lot of help from um, experts okay. within the community for hmm. cookies, how to taste the cookies, right? right. So we had um, Manchester Bidwell, Pittsburgh Technical College, the Art Institute of Pittsburgh, the Community College of Allegheny, um, and also from Rivers Casino, we had several judges, and they judged it based on creativity, yes. the instructions as it was written, what they look like, the photos, and of course, ultimately the taste. The taste of the cookies, Absolutely. that's what matters most. So let's get started, Joelle. First of all, this is a very beautiful cookie. Thank Tell you. me about this. This is a delicious cookie and it's also really versatile. Yes. So you can change the colors, you can change the flavors. This is really good for a Steelers game, maybe yes. a Super Bowl party. I love it. <laughs> and um, I've done it for a ton of different occasions, birthdays, baby showers. And tell Weddings. me, what does it have a specific name? Do you call it something? I know it's the swirl, but this is a, a swirled sugar and spice cookie. Okay. So I did a sugar swirl with the spice swirl, but you can change the spice swirl to different flavors. And as I take one up to taste, tell me how you came up with this. Um, I was just asked to make cookies one day, and I thought a swirl is really good. I mean, it catches your eye. How did you hear about the contest? This is really good, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, my husband's aunt actually sent me a link, and she knows that I bake, and she's like, you have to do this, you have to do this. And I was like, okay, <laughs> so it worked out really well. Now, of all your baking, is this your specialty cookie? Is this, this is the one? This is the number one. Okay. Well, it's delightful, I must tell you. Thank you. Okay, Bernadette, chocolate yes. almond biscotti, is that correct? That's correct. Tell me how you heard about the contest first, and then we'll get to the cookie. Well, we are frequent visitors to the rivers. Yes. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> Back in May, I did see the uh, the uh, announcement for it, and I yes. thought, "Wow, this is something that I can do that I might be interested in." Okay. And um, biscotti, and biscotti means twice baked, so that allows this cookie to be crunchy on the outside, tender on the inside, full of flavor. Okay. Um, and it's a real compliment to wine or coffee or just for snacking. Excellent. Now tell me, is this a recipe that you came up with yourself? Was it passed down? How this has you... been passed down in the family for quite some years. Um, I have tweaked this recipe many times okay. to get it where I liked it and um, the chocolate on the outside just adds to that. That adds to it. Yes. Were you surprised to learn that you were one of the winners? Were you expecting it? Did you? I was not expecting it because I figured there would be many, many entries and um, I'm very thankful. It was okay. quite an exciting time. Okay, well pass, slide the platter down so <laughs> so far. As we move on to Diane, tell me what you have here, Diane, as I try this one. Um, I have painted holly cookies that have been a tradition. I have two friends, Natalie and Debbie, who we baked cookies for about 35 years every Sunday before wow. Christmas. And this was always one of the stars of the marathon cookie bake. Mm -hmm. um, so for 35 years, you have this down. You I can do this in this your sleep, right? Just about. <laughs> Tell me about it. What goes into it? I'll hold one up so they can oh, sort of sure. see the, the so, detail in that. Paint with holly cookie. Right. So the wafers are cinnamon wafers. And then okay. you put raspberry jam in. And then a powdered sugar icing. And then you drop, while the icing is wet, you drop in your little cinnamon circle okay and then you get a tiny little paintbrush with 
food coloring green Wait, food you use a coloring. paintbrush? A tiny little <laughs> paintbrush. Oh my goodness. And okay. then you paint each little holly leaf or evergreen on. How long does that take to do? What, all day. Just say a, oh, all, day. all day. Okay, mm -hmm. great. It was easier when I had a team working with me. Okay. <laughs> Can't I wait only to taste. had to paint then. Yeah. Cannot wait to taste that. But I also want to get to this because you guys do the calendars. And then tell right. us about this. So some of the winners are featured in this calendar. That's right. So like we said, we've got Miss September, October, and November here. Yes. We've actually got their photos. We've got the cookies highlighted in there. But also at okay. the back of this calendar, yes. they are actually shared our recipes. Oh, um, fantastic. Their recipes, they're perforated, so you get, can actually here recreate the these in your own kitchen. Or, um, try, or try to, at least. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> definitely make that attempt. And then okay. also, it's got kind of the story behind it uh, and their traditions of the cookie themselves that they made. And tell me how each of the winners found out that they had won. So it was an announcement that was actually made to them, but it's actually official today that these are our winners. Congratulations, right? ladies. Okay. Um, and there's also, we've got some honorable mentions in here that yes. are also featured in the back of the calendar. We had a celebratory um, brunch one day out at the casino where okay. they also received um, a $250 gift card to Andrew's Seafood and Steakhouse. Nice. Uh, $500 in free slot play. They'll also get copies of the calendar to share with their friends and family. Um, and we're also sharing the calendar today at the casino um, where you can come in and actually earn points and get the calendar. And we'll also be featuring them to sell in our gift shop. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Shannon, Joelle, Bernadette, Diane, thank you all so much. I didn't forget about tasting that one. <laughs> okay, you can look for a full list of all the winners in the Rivers Casino Cookie Table Contest online. You'll find that link at kdka.com slash PTL. Again, congratulations to all of the talented bakers out there.